In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to convert a Trek 7.4 template that has some customizations, such as custom footers, custom header on the very first uh, legal page uh, where the Trek preamble is, and basically some customizations you don't want to lose, and the standard templates did not come with that. So um, this requires a few additional steps. Again, it's a fairly simple process. But uh, let's go ahead and get started. So here again, we are starting with the Whisper uh, splash screen. I'm going to start with that same template I had earlier in the other video, um, except this one's got some additional changes in it. I'll show you those. I'm going to hit OK. We're now back in this template. Let's go to Print Preview real quick. Um, take a look at these changes I'm talking about. So our cover page still has this logo at the top, but if you go down a little further, you're going to see we have a logo in front of our company information on, on the actual truck page here, the, where the preamble is, right above where the property inspection report starts. So that's actually in the heading, and we don't want to lose that. If we just replace the report view that this template uh, is using, we will lose that, okay? we go down, you're going to see we have the 7.4 footer. You go into here, you'll notice we don't have the CSST changes for 7.5 yet. All the footers are 7.4. And if you look closer, uh, if we go back up to the top, you'll see that this customer's name is John Doe. I just put that in there, of course. But if you go look down at the footer, we have a custom footer here. Some of you guys have that in your templates. Switching simply to one of our um, report views like that used by the 7.5 templates, you will lose that also. So if you have things like that going on, we don't want to lose those changes. We want to, you know, maintain those across the conversion. And as you can see, these footers um, propagate all the way through the report. So let's go ahead and get started here. And we know we don't want to lose all those changes. So that's what we're having to keep in mind here. Um, this template like I mentioned in the other template, could have had additional chapters and topics in here. Uh, that would be another reason to use this approach. The, the principles are the same, uh, but I don't have that in this one either. If you have questions about that, feel free to email me uh, or Eric. We can answer those, um, but it should be the same principles as, as I'm about to show you. Okay, so here again, we are going to uh, look at this template. It, it's a simple template. It just has the cover page, no WDI or anything like that. So let's go ahead and go to the Whisper website and pick up the templates. They're on the front page down at the bottom left. I'll hit download now. Save. And they should be saved. All right. Next, we're going to import, or actually restore, using the data manager up here, the template that we need. So I'm going to hit restore. I'm going to say next. I'm going to say browse. Actually, I'm already pointing to them right here, so I can just hit next. I'm going to take this template, which is the one we're going to get uh, to convert to, or we're going to actually use some of the elements within this uh, report view is what I'm going to actually do. But I'm going to hit next. I'm going to hit Restore, and now we have it in our database. So, just like with the other video, I'm going to start by clicking on the New Report button, and it still remembers here that the last uh, report I created from a... Uh, the last report that I created was from this uh, Trek 7.4 template. I'm going to do the same thing here. What we want is a Trek 7.5. So now we're going to have a 7.5 template. We're going to make this a template. And it's going to come from the 7.4 that we already have. I'm going to hit OK. You see that we have the new template up here. And if you look to the left, you're going to see that we are still in a 7.4 format. This is using a report view that is of the 7.4 um, Trek template or Trek report form format. Okay, 
So what we're going to do is we're going to right click the mouse. We're going to go into the report view manager. Right off the bat, um, you're going to notice that the report view that we're using up here at the top, and I didn't point that out a minute ago. Let me close this again. If you look over here at the top of the report view, um, it's a good idea if you're going to have a custom report view to put something at the end. I've got my initials out here. So this is not a standard report view. That right there should have been a, um, you know, um, a clue that there's something a little custom about this. So once again, if I right click and go in here, um, now you don't have to change the name of that, but it's a good idea. That way people, yourself included, would realize later that, hey, this is, there's something special about this. So this 7.4 template, or this report view, if you will, has some stuff in it that we want to um, keep. Now, if I simply hit this drop down and went to the 7.5, I'm going to lose a number of things, and I'll have to re-implement those. So I don't want to do it that way this time. What I'm going to do is I'm going to save this report view, okay, 7.4. I'm going to save it as... I'm going to try to keep everything the same. So I'm going to do a 7.5 here, and I'm going to keep my initials at the end. So I'm going to say this is a 7.5 report view. Now, if you look up here, he now says nothing is using this one now because uh, it hasn't been assigned to anything yet, but it's my 7.5 version of the report view. I'm going to come down here and say use with current report. I'm going to say yes, this is what I want to do, and I'm going to OK to acknowledge that. Um, if I close out and I come back in with the report view manager again by right clicking over here, you'll notice I now have it in use by one template and that is the new template we just created. So we're on our way to creating a 7.5 report view that keeps all of our changes in it if you will. Okay, so let's start at the top. All right, so here's the report view uh, 7.5 with my initials at the end. We go to the cover page. That's probably nothing special there. We come down to this high-level chapter, and you'll notice it says 7.4 in it. Well, I'm going to change that to a 7.5. I'm then going to go to the title page, and right off the bat we see here that here's that special uh, header that we have um, that we don't want to lose. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to hit the magnifying glass to the right of the layout, here is my special chapter layout for, that I was using for the 7.4. I'm going to say save as here as well. And I'm going to come over here and I'm going to name this my 7.5. Okay. So, okay. Now, while I'm still in here, if you look at the top, you'll see that it says 7.5. But while I'm still in here, I'm going to hit the header footer button. And if you move this window down, you'll see that obviously we have our custom header up there. And we're going to knock, we're not going to touch that at all. We're just going to leave that alone so we can save all of that. We're not have to re-implement that. Here's our, and that was for the first page of this chapter. All the remaining pages are going to use this for their header. We don't need to touch that either. Let's go down to the footer. Here's the first footer that we're going to encounter, and it's on the first page of the Trek report. This is where the promulgated by verbiage is, um, and that has to stay intact. But if you look down here at the bottom left corner, the version is wrong. That's still saying 7.4. So I'm going to go in here, and I'm going to change this to be what it's supposed to be for the 7.5. And of course, if you know what the changes are, you can do this kind of stuff. You'll have the master report form that's on the Trek website. Now, I just copied that to the clipboard also by highlighting it and putting doing a control C so I can use it um, further into the uh, report if I need to. All right, let's go down to the second footer. I need it there. So I'm just going to highlight that also. And I'm going to do a control V and it put it up on the line above me there, which I did not want. And my window here is a little lower than I wanted it, so hopefully you've been able to see what I've been up to here. Um, so for the title page chapter, I think we are done with our changes. I hit apply, hit OK. 
All right, and you now see it's a 7.5. I'm going to come down here and hit Apply also. Make sure it locks it into my report view that we're working on. Okay. Let's go down to the additional information provided by inspector um, topic. Well, now, in this particular area of the report view, there have been no customizations I have made, so there's nothing really special in here that I have to worry about for myself. All I need is the Trek 7.5 changes, because that's where they that's what they affected. So all I need to do here is hit the drop down, and you'll see that it's a 7.4 right now. Let's make this a 7.5. And if you look down here, you're going to notice there's an extra bullet item in here. You can't really see it very well. It's kind of small, but we'll look at it in a minute. That is the new change, and that's what we want. I'm going to hit Apply. And that takes care of the title page chapter and the topic that mainly has the change we're worried about for this, uh, this conversion. The only thing we have left is the footers for the remaining chapters. So what I just did up here is I clicked the Collapse All so I could see just the chapters. I don't care about any of the topics that live in these chapters. So let's click on Structural Systems. You'll notice here, too, that we have a 7.4 chapter layout that's got my initials at the end, because this is my custom version. Let's hit the magnifying glass. Now, once again, we are in um, a layout manager. In this case, it's a chapter. If you look at the top left, and it is the um, structural systems chapter, and it's using this chapter layout. I'm going to come up here, and I'm going to do Save As. And we're going to change this to 7.5, leave my initials at the end, hit OK. Now we have a new version called 7.5 with my, my initials at the end. We're going we're gonna to go to the uh, header footer again. We're going to go to footer all pages. I think this layout could have just had one footer definition, but it seems to have two in here. It's not a big deal. We'll just highlight both of them and change our footer to reflect the 7.5 revision of both of these. Okay, and now I'm going to hit Apply, and I'm going to hit OK. All right, so we've going to hit Apply here also. So now we have the structural system set to 7.5. From this point on, you don't have to keep doing that to the general systems heading, because these remaining chapters also use that same heading. So all we have to do, that same layout, so I just go to Electrical Systems. You'll see that that's got a 7.4. I'm going to hit the, um, down here on the, um, where is it? Look for my 7.5. That's got the LW on it. There it is. I'm going to hit Apply. I'm going to go to Heating and Ventilation. We're going to continue doing this until we get all these chapters using the same chapter layout that we just modified for 7.5. And that will almost get us to the end of this drill. So um, there's another 7.4 goes to 7.5 with the initials on it. We're going to go down to Optional Systems. We're going to come down here, do the same thing on that one. Now, if I go back up to the top here and I sequence through these, look at the layout in the middle of the screen. That one is now a 7.5. If we go down here, look at the topic, you'll also see that's a 7.5 title page. Keep going, we got 7.5 for that layout for the chapter, and all the way down until we get to the summary. The summary is still a 7.4, and this is the last one we have to worry about. So if we hit the magnifying glass, we're in a 7.4 summary, customized for me. If I hit save, I'm going to come up here and hit 7.5. I'm going to say OK. I'm then going to come up here to, uh, let's see, acknowledge that. Hit header. Go to footer and we have the same thing up here. We're going to change that footer to a new version. There it is. I'm going to now hit apply and hit OK. And now I'm going to hit apply one last time. I'm going to hit close, and I think we're done. So if we go up to print preview on our 7.5 template, 
Oh, by the way, before I do that, look to the left. Everything looks like it's 7.5 over here. It's even got my initials on it, so we know it's something special. It's got special customizations. Hit the printer. Hit preview. Let's see if our changes came across. Here's my logo on the cover page. Here's the first page of the actual Trek report, and my logo and all that stuff still at the top, which is good. My footer now says 7.5, which is what we want. Page 2 has the additional bulleted item at the bottom for CSST, which is the corrugated stainless steel tubing that we have to do for 7.5. Footer is 7.5 as well, and the footers should stay 7.5 uh, all the way through. And by the way, if you look at that footer, you'll see that it, it still has my custom, this report was prepared for, uh, at the bottom down there, okay? So that is there. We kept all that intact, too. We did not have to re-implement that. It just uh, kind of came across when I did the save as. So that completes this uh, tutorial, pretty much. Um, and that has custom changes in it, so we were able to maintain those across. Um, so if you have any questions about any of this, feel free to email us. We'll be glad to help. All right? Thanks for watching.